We wish you a pleasant flight and wonderful stay in Maldives. Thank you. Hello, I'm Ankit Roteja and you are watching Beyond Travel. I'm here in the Maldives, an island nation that is famous the world over for its pristine beaches, crystal clear waters, blue lagoons, incredible marine life, pleasant climate, lush palm trees, luxury resorts and sumptuous cuisine. It's a dreamy holiday destination for people from all walks of life. As many say, it's a paradise for travellers. Let's explore everything this place has to offer. The Maldives has a lot of surprises in store for you. From the moment you land at the Velana International Airport, which is the main gateway to this paradise island. For me, the first attraction was the seaplane. In other parts of the world, you usually take a car or a train from the airport to reach your desired destination. But why settle for that when you can take a seaplane from the airport to reach your favorite island. It's a water plane which lands and takes off on the water. So start your Maldivian adventure with a scenic flight. Board a seaplane and jet off for a one of a kind experience. The flying time to your destination on a seaplane varies from 20 to 60 minutes. Use that time to enjoy the jaw-dropping views from the window. You get spectacular aerial views of the islands, lagoons and reefs. I must say, it's the perfect way to start your holiday in the Maldives. It took me 45 minutes on the seaplane to reach my destination. My first stop is Siam World. It's a luxury resort that not only appeals to young couples but is also a wholesome option for families. I'm a solo traveler and I think I'm going to have a lot of fun here. The Maldives is made up of a chain of nearly 1200 islands. You're spoiled for choice when it comes to choosing where you want to stay. There are over a hundred resorts to pick from and all of them look enticing for all categories of travellers. Whether you're on a shoestring budget or feel like splurging on a lavish vacation, there is something for everyone. I've opted to stay at Siam World, a very popular resort and you will soon see why. Located on the island of Digora in Nunu Atoll, it's one of the largest islands in the Maldives. It's spread across an impressive 54 hectares. The stroll around the property just added to the vacation vibes. The property is so massive that you can't explore it on foot. So the resort has deployed in-house buggies. Visitors can find them at various bus stops set up across the resort. 
to take you wherever you wish to go a bar, a restaurant, or the water park. When you start looking around, you realize it's not the size of the resort that gives this property a premium tag. It's the experiences it offers that make your vacation truly luxurious. The resort has a wide variety of accommodation categories. From villas with slides to beach suites with pool. And its beach house collection is the cream of the crop. A sophisticated enclave of uber premium residences. Multiple rooms, a private pool, direct access to the beach, a separate kitchenette, a dining area, name it and you can find it. Well, I had a memorable stay in my villa. With its beautiful views and the sea breeze, I couldn't ask for more. But now I'm off to find some food. For me, no vacation is complete without some indulgent meals. At Siam World, you're spoiled for choice when it comes to food and drinks. It houses multiple restaurants with a focus on global cuisine. For instance, the Tempo, a multi-cuisine restaurant, offers a sumptuous buffet. Set up on a beautiful beach terrace, it also has live cooking stations. And the Wahoo Grill prides itself on serving the freshest fish meat and seafood with the Maldives. Thai, Mexican, Japanese and Indian. You can find cuisine from around the world here. There are various options available for vegetarians as well. I generally try out local food when I'm traveling. But there are days when I crave for the usual dal, chawal, roti and sabzi. Staple food items in most parts of India. Guess what? You don't have to miss out on your favorite comfort food when you are in the Maldives. Indian meals are readily available in most of the resorts here. The Curry Leaf at Siam World specializes in Indian food. Whether you want to have dal makhani, rich creamy korma, palak paneer, butter chicken or gulab jamun, you'll find all the classic Indian delicacies. I savoured the meal while enjoying an uninterrupted view of the Indian Ocean. Delectable food can make your trip wonderful. But it's the experiences that make a vacation truly memorable. One excursion that I would recommend is the Sunset Cruise. You and I, we were meant to be. I feel it in my soul. When you're in the Maldives, you would not like to miss the Sunset Cruise. Get on the boat, breathe the salt rich air, enjoy your drinks and watch the sun go down over the Indian Ocean. I think it's a great way to start your evening. I love sunsets, so there is no way I would have missed this one. Usually it starts at 5.30 pm and lasts for an hour. But the timings could change depending on which month of the year you choose to visit the island nation. Enjoy the calm ocean waves and marvel at this sight. To watch the crisp blue sky turn golden is something to behold. It can actually make your evening with a special someone unforgettable. With the sun gradually slipping out of sight, the sky makes for an amazing backdrop. Ideal for taking those perfect holiday photos. A complimentary drink enables you to truly unwind. And if you're lucky, you can even find fun-loving dolphins A new day, a new adventure. On my second day at Siam World, I 
excited to do a few things that I had never done before. It's time to indulge in some exciting water-based activities. Instead of walking, I decided to use a bicycle to get to the water sports zone. The idea of cycling in the Maldives may sound strange to many, but I must say it's an instant de-stressor. Riding a bicycle in the shadows of the palm trees with a breeze blowing across your face is very nice. After exploring the resort for a while, I was ready to make a splash. Did you know that the island nation Maldives has just 1% land, which means it has 99% water. It is one of the top destinations for water sports. Now that I'm here, I can't wait to try out some of the activities I've heard so much about. Let the fun begin. Before your water adventures begin, make sure your life jacket is on, especially if you're not a good swimmer. One of the major attractions for me was the floating water park, which is said to be the biggest in the Maldives. This is a place where you can unleash your inner child. Walk, run, jump, slip or fall. You're bound to have loads of fun. I think I've never had a cardio workout this enjoyable. Water sports are rather addictive. Once you've jumped into the water, you simply don't feel like getting out. I was tired after spending some time at the floating water park, but I wasn't quite done. The lagoon was my second playground. I hopped on a water scooter to explore the scenic island. You feel a rush of adrenaline as you bounce over the waves. The ride may be bumpy, but you end up making some exciting memories to last a lifetime. The place has a variety of water sports to offer. Try one or try them all. Do you want to become a superhero and fly above the waves? Try flyboarding or ride a water bike for a more tranquil experience. Kayaking and stand-up paddle boarding are also more relaxed ways to soak up the sun. No matter what you choose, these activities are great for burning calories and ensuring you stay fit even during a holiday. We've experienced a few things, the sandy beaches, the over the water villa with a slide going into it. Uh, and we've also just done the water sports activities. Siam World Maldives offers dozens of choices to help you fill your day. After plenty of physical activities, you can let your hair down in the evening. Enjoy live music with a saxophone. Listen to the sounds of jazz and blues. Or watch these highly skilled belly dancers. You'll find plenty of fun, but save things to do for a night out. The Maldives is a popular year-round destination. The weather is warm, so is the ocean water. The ultimate way to discover the Maldives is to get on a cruise. They also call it a liverboard, which simply means you live on the boat for a few days. And this is going to be my home for the next few days. Maldives has world-class resorts. After soaking in luxury, you can head out for some adventure for a holistic holiday experience. If you are a thrill seeker like me, you must try out the liverboard. Hop on a cruiser, enjoy the onboard facilities, go diving and explore the underwater world. Liverboards in the Maldives cater to visitors with all sorts of travel budgets. You can go for a top-of-the-line cruiser or stick to a budget-friendly yacht.
chosen the Maldives Legend Cruiser. Let's take a quick tour. This yacht is managed and operated exclusively by Maldives Holiday Collections. It is four decks. The main deck has a restaurant, bar, dining and lounge areas. Guest cabins are on the lower and upper decks. They are equipped with modern amenities and can accommodate a total of 24 people. My favourite area is the sun deck, which is equipped with a jacuzzi and sun loungers. It's the perfect spot for outdoor relaxation. You also get to treat yourself with a perfect meal. The lavish buffet menu features a variety of dishes, including some Maldivian food items that you may want to try. I'm having a typical Maldivian breakfast. It's called Mashuni Roshi. It's a simple yet tasty dish made of tuna, coconut, onion and chilli. This dish is usually eaten with a freshly baked flatbread, which is called Roshi. This Maldivian dish is really popular and I can see why. Do try it for yourself when you visit the Maldives. I must admit that I was a little apprehensive about the food before boarding the cruiser. But the quality and taste of the food served on the yacht turned out to be a pleasant surprise. The friendly crew makes every effort to ensure that you have an unforgettable cruise experience. Having a luxurious stay on the cruiser is just one part of the live aboard experience. There is more. The Maldives has many wonders and many of them are tucked away out of sight. Blessed with a diverse marine life, the Maldives is one of the world's most desirable destinations for underwater adventures. When the whale shark comes, we will wait. Nobody jumps. Everybody will wait until I say okay. There are professional dive guides on the cruise to give you a memorable and safe underwater experience. During the cruise, you are taken to different diving sites. These include the North Mali Atoll, Ari Atoll and Kafu Atoll. The underwater sceneries are magnificent. You can see corals, tropical fish and turtles. And if you go deeper, you can get close to giant manta rays and the world's largest fish, the whale shark. In fact, swimming with whale sharks in the Maldives is on the bucket list of many travellers. You can go diving and see a lot of creatures. Also at, at night, sometimes you also see the whale shark and mantar. So it's like an adventure all day long. Whether you like free diving, scuba diving or snorkeling, live aboard is a great way to experience the diverse marine life of the Maldives. In many ways, the beauty of the Maldives is unparalleled. But I also want to experience the culture. For me, the best way to do that is to get a taste of local life. I am headed towards the Mafushi Island. Situated in South Mali's Kafu Atoll, the island is easy to reach. It takes around 40 minutes on a speedboat to reach Mafushi from the Velana International Airport. This slice of paradise occupies just over one kilometer and can be covered in a day. It was the first inhabited island in the Maldives to become a hub for travelers. It's a chill place uh, where you can just relax 
and enjoy the scenery and enjoy the, the beauty of the, the nature. The Mafushi Island is considered to be one of the best places to have a beach holiday in the Maldives if you are on a budget. Various accommodation options are available at reasonable prices. checked into the Kani Beach Hotel. Surrounded by coconut palm trees, the hotel offers private balconies with sea view rooms. All rooms are air-conditioned and equipped with other modern amenities. It's located just besides the Bikini Beach. Where visitors can dress as they please and swim without offending the sensibilities of the local population. Also, the island is an ideal place for adventures. There are numerous fun activities available. For instance, you can go for parasailing to enjoy the aerial views of the island or spend the day canoeing around the island. Foodies will be delighted to know that cafes and restaurants are located just around the beach. But I decided to go and have an authentic Maltifian lunch. It's time for a true local experience. I'm going to have a home-cooked meal with a Maldivian family which has been staying here for over four decades. Let's see what's on the menu. I was overwhelmed by the hospitality and kindness of this couple who welcomed me into their home just so I could get a taste of authentic, home-cooked Maldivian food, they had made a spread of over 10 dishes. It was served pumpkin rice, dried tuna, grilled fish, sweet potato and many other delicacies. It filled my heart with joy. We sat together with the family and shared a meal, as well as a few laughs. This hearty meal and delightful company is something that I will always cherish. Soon it was time to say goodbye to my new friends. The island has a few gift shops where you can buy souvenirs if you like. I picked up some hand-painted fridge magnets these will serve as memories of a perfect island vacation. And then it was time for one last stroll on the beach when I chanced upon this scene. Such happy vibes. The Maldives has that effect on travellers. That brings me to the end of my trip. I must confess, the Maldives is one of the best holiday destinations that I have seen. Sandy beaches, nature walks, liverboat time, water adventures and great delicacies. They all make for a wonderful experience. I'm heading back home today but with a promise that I will be back. <laughs>